Among other things, I will be talking about Venus, its orbital period, the magic square of Venus, and a certain number that ties these together. I'll be sure to leave a few links in the description box. This is going to tie in with my Rush Decode. So we're going to talk a little bit about the death of Neil Peart, the drummer of Rush. He died on the seventh day of the year, and the Venus magic square is a 7 by 7 We'll get into it. If you do an internet search for the orbital period of Venus, you get an estimate of 225 days. 225 is the 176th composite number. I've talked a lot about the importance of composite number recognition. So 225 is the 176th composite number. If we take 225 minus 176, we get 49, which connects us with the magic square of Venus, because the magic square of Venus are the numbers 1 through 49 in a 7 by 7 grid. But remember this number, 176. The 176th prime number is 1049. So if we add 176 plus the 176th prime number, we get 1225. That's the total sum of all the numbers of the magic square of Venus. You can see the magic square off to the right. It's all the numbers from 1 through 49. And... It's a 7 by 7 grid, 7 times 7 is 49. Notice off to the left, we have this 5-point star, the pentagram, representing the Venus pentagram. Look, eventually there will be a playlist tying this all together. I'm trying to do some short videos. Keep it less complicated, easier to understand. I'm going to show you um, a little animation of the what makes up the Venus pentagram. You could do a quick search. You can find plenty of simulations or whatnot. But, um, yeah, to me this connects with the Rush album. Like I said, links in the description box. The cover of the Rush album has that five-pointed star. They have something called the Starman logo. It's not exactly... Technically a pentagram, it's a five-pointed star, very reminiscent of a pentagram. And that album that I'm in the middle of decoding connects with a few different planets. And remember I said that the Venus magic square is a 7x7 seven seven grid, and the drummer of Rush, Neil Peart, died on January 7th, the seventh day of the year. Well, that Rush song I've been talking about, which takes up the entire half, or not half, of the, the entire first side of the Rush 2112 album, is one long song divided into seven parts, using Roman numerals to, di to differentiate from each part. So I'll show you a short clip with the animation of the Venus pentagram being made. And you could search it out yourself. Just type out Pentagram Venus. So I know there are some people that don't like to talk about space and anything related. But this pertains to the decode. So if you think it's all fake, whatever, just imagine this is like, like a track, a racetrack. In the middle we have the yellow dot representing the sun. The ring around the first ring around that sun is the Venus orbit, which is represented by the green circle or the green dot, and then the outer ring represents the Earth orbit, the blue dot. So, this is just a screenshot. I will show the animation, but you see how they're aligned the sun's in the middle, the center of the screen there. Next we have the green dot, which is Venus, and then Earth. That would be the first conjunction, meaning they align. Earth, Venus, Sun align. So that's the first one. Notice off to the left there will be a little red dot. 
maybe you can see the color, maybe not. But just watch the animation. Alright, so starting again, they're starting to swirl until the first conjunction right there. The next place they align, a point is marked. A line is drawn from that conjunction point to the previous conjunction point. Venus and Earth continue their orbit. A new line is drawn for each conjunction marked until eventually the lines create a pentagram. So you see here we're about to have one more connection right to the right there. All right. Swirling around. Venus is much faster here. The last one is created. There's the pentagram. Now I can't vouch for how accurate that animation is, but it does help to illustrate the point. I've heard about this Venus pentagram for a while, and finally when I looked it up, I can kind of see what they're talking about. So, going back, so we have this five-pointed star, the Rush had the Starman logo, the Rush drummer, Neil Peart, he actually wrote the 2112 story, which I talked about already. And he died on January 7th, the seventh day of the year. Venus Magic Square is a 7x7 seven seven grid. The Magic Square of Venus consists of all the numbers from 1 through 49. Because 7 times 7, 49. The 49th triangular number, add all the numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, all the way to plus 49, you get 1,225. And this brings us right back to where I was talking about. This special number that connects the Venus orbital period and the Venus magic square. 225 days is the estimated orbital period of Venus. 225 is the 176th composite number, that special number. I'll talk more about that later. There's another magic square that blew my mind the very week that Neil Peart died. I wasn't even following Rush or Neil Peart. It had nothing to do with it until recently. But 225 orbital period, 225 is the 176 composite number. 225 minus 176 is 49, like the 49 numbers on the Venus magic square. Now, we had that number that connected them, 176. Well, the 176 prime is 1049. Adding up 1049 plus 176, we get... 1225 the venus magic square totals up to 1225 and as you can see off to the left the number that kind of ties these together is 176 because the orbital period is the 176 composite number and down below we have the venus magic square minus the 176th prime gets us the 100 the number on 176. Now, like I said, I will leave links in the description box. This blew my mind. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. So, the channel number file, many of you have probably heard of this. Number file, I got a number file video recommended to me in the early, the first week of 2020. It was about this magic square where all the numbers all the rows, all the columns, each diagonal and whatnot, add up to 176. And the special part about that magic square, the video I think is called Special Magic Square. The extra special magic of that was that if you flip the the square the the actual magic square upside down, if you write the numbers in such a way that you can read them upside down, the same applies it, it's 176 no matter what if you put it in the mirror it's the same way i said i said i'll leave a link in the description box it's hard to describe without showing it to you maybe i can dig one out real quick but i learned about that magic square and then a few days later i was still heavily into it it was very fascinating to me and then a few days later literally like less than a week later was the Ukrainian jet crash that killed 176 in Tehran. 
I saw the front page of the newspaper and I had to make a video. I, I it was the very next day. You can see like I said I'll leave links in the description box and and you can see the date where I published it was January 9th, the very next day. But what's crazy about this, this crash again it killed 176 all on board. And I was heavily studying this 176 number and what was so special about that magic square. So that crash occurred on January 8th. And there's so much I could say about the number 108 or 18. But the date, January 8th, 2020, was literally the day after Neil Peart died. Let's see off to the left from Wikipedia or is it Rush.com? I'm not sure, but... Neil Peart, date of death, January 7th, 2020. Off to the right, you see this article dated January 8th, and it did happen on January 8th, at least from the perspective of the United States where I was from. And all the articles say January 8th, I believe. And it was this Ukrainian airplane carrying 176 passengers. So I don't have a screenshot handy of the 176 magic square. I do have a drawing of it. Forgive the messy drawing, but you'll get the point. Okay, so here's the square. It's not quite how number file presented it, but it's a variation. Shout out to William Sullivan for putting the 1225 right in the middle there. I gotta ask him if he did that on purpose or not. But um, yeah, so you see the top row 85, 28, 11, 52. Add all those together, you get 176. Look at the bottom row 18, 